Hey guys, Brandon here with another video. Today we're just gonna be doing a really quick unboxing and first impressions of the new Pelican 1615 travel case. But before that, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I release new content. Now this channel is all about photography, gear, reviews, and tutorials. So if you like that kind of stuff, uh, please subscribe, it helps the channel out. All right, so why did I decide to go with the Pelican 615 travel case? Um, I've been on the market for a while for an all-in-one kind of hard case to house all my lighting equipment when I'm on location shooting either events or, you know, kind of photo shoots. Uh, specifically to hold my Profoto equipment, that's the Profoto B1Xs, the B10s, some triggers, a light stand, speed rings, and a couple modifiers. So I wanted something that can house all of that uh, so I can just grab that and go on location. Um, the Pelican 615 Air is a pretty popular case, um, so when I went to go buy that, I noticed that Pelican had just recently added a new model uh, to their line, specifically with improvements designed around traveling. Uh, so there go the name, the 615 Travel Case. Uh, so some of the improvements were that this one comes um, with a built-in uh, lid organizer, comes with some packing cubes, they've made, they've added a integrated TSA locks, and kind of the biggest deal is that they've uh, redesigned how their latches work. Now, if you were traveling with the older air cases, uh, some of the criticism was that the latch latches were pretty easy to open, meaning that if something can get caught and it kind of kind of can open. Uh, but with these new latches, you know, it looks like they've kind of add some double throw or double latch buttons where you had to push the button and then pull up. Um, so if, specifically if you're traveling, this will be a big improvement as far as the security and safety of your gear. So with that, uh, let's get this thing out of the box. Okay, so here we have the Pelican 615 travel case out of the box, and what you get looks like you get a kind of warranty card, a information pamphlet, um, the TSA key. So this is gonna work with the TSA lock, so you definitely don't wanna use that. Uh, and the packing cubes. You know, I don't really plan to use these too much, um, but you know, they're nice to have added. Um, so out of these packing cubes, it does look like you get kind of a nice uh, medium size cube. Probably decent size, looks like it has a handle on it. It's got a see-through mesh on the top. So um, that's the medium size one. I'm trying to see if there's any special things about this. No, it looks like it's probably some kind of ripstop nylon. Uh, opens up all the way like that, so I don't see any pockets or anything, but uh, it does have a nice zipper around and comes with a kind of handle on the top. That's the medium size one. And you get one large packing cube here. Again, opens up all the way. So those are the packing cubes. Now with the TSA key, I uh, definitely have to work and figure out where I want to store this because I definitely don't lose it. Um, but those uh, go on the two TSA locks that are on the front latches here. Um, so it looks like there are a total of five latches on the side of this case, uh, with two of them having this TSA uh, locks there. So once it's locked, 
uh, you're not gonna be able to get into this case without a TSA approved key, uh, which is great. One of the big things why I picked up this case here. Um, again, this case does come with the dual latch system. So you have to push this kind of button mechanism that's on the top uh, before it would open. Again, on the older cases, you kind of just pull from the bottom and it would release the latch. Again, when you're traveling, your case getting tossed around, it could get hooked on something, you know, and potentially accidentally unlock the system. Um, so with this, you gotta push the button, uh, it unlocks, and push the button, it unlocks that way. So going inside on the lid organi organizer, again, it's pretty large, hopefully you can see. It uh, looks like you got some mesh, uh, stretch pockets here, total of three, a large one, two small ones. These can hold battery, chargers, cables, all that kind of stuff. You also get a large zip pocket area here. I would assume you can put a laptop or something larger, flat documents, papers, something like that in this area. Um, and there is a larger zip here. Uh, that does expose the kind of top lid of the area. Uh, but you can put some items behind there if you would like. Again, out of the box, it does not come with kind of any kind of foam or padded div div dividing system, if that's what you're looking for. Um, so this does come with the two packing cubes uh, that kind of fit into the case uh, like so, uh, once that's filled out. Now with the 615 case, this is the largest size that is allowed to be checked in. Um, so if you're looking to check a bag, this is the largest size without having to pay the oversized checking fee. Uh, also continuing, if we look around the back, uh, you still get the kind of carrying handle like that. So again, this is like any other air case. Uh, that's, that's not a new feature. Uh, the wheels uh, looks like they are the same, although it looks like when I read it online that they are upgraded a little bit, hope to be a little bit quieter, uh, but I don't own any of the other models, so I can't speak to if there are any improvements or upgrades to these wheels. So as you can see here, I got this model in black, but if you go to the website, they do offer the new travel cases in four new colors. Um, you know, a lot of people do like to get the brighter or different colors, specifically when they're traveling, so that they can spot the gear a little bit easier when it's coming around the conveyor belt. Uh, but I myself, I chose black just to match the rest of my gear. Traditionally, the Pelican air cases come with three different internal organization systems. That's the pluck and pull foam, some padded dividers, or the trek pack system. I decided to go with the optional trek pack system because I'll be using this for photography gear. But I did want to note that you don't get those options with the travel case because it does come with some uh, packing cubes. Uh, so let's get these out of the box. Now this is the 1615 uh, trick pack system. Comes with some foam for the bottom, uh, foam for the top. The C-clips. And the trick pack dividers. So I'll put these in the case a little bit later, uh, but I just wanted to kind of let you know that you don't get any kind of camera dividing systems with the travel case. And I also went ahead and got the additional accessory kit for the Trek Pack system. So this includes, I believe, two more additional dividing systems because I know if I'm gonna want to kind of slice the, up, the kind of cubes up small, I'm gonna need to have more of the Trek Pack dividers. So it looks like you get kind of a longer piece and a kind of medium sized piece. So that's been a really quick round trip of the Pelican air case. Again, I'm gonna put the Trek Pack divider system inside, get my lighting gear in. I'll do another follow up video and showing you guys how I pack this um, system. But I just wanted to kind of keep this video really short and brief if people were wondering exactly what this case looked like in the add-ons that you got. If you have any questions or anything you want me to address in a future video, leave the comments below. I've been Brandon and thank you. See you guys in the next one.